Welcome. Here is a rundown of war in Ukraine. More than 18 million border crossings now taken place out of Ukraine. More than 18.1 million border crossings have taken place out of Ukraine since Russia's invasion, according to data from the United Nations. The figure reflects cross-border movements out of the country and not individuals. Just under 10 million people have crossed back into Ukrainian territory since February 24 last year. Yet movements back to Ukraine can be pendular and do not necessarily indicate sustainable returns as the situation across Ukraine remains highly volatile and unpredictable. Refugees have fled to neighboring countries with the UN also recording more than 8 million refugees across Europe, with just over half registered with official schemes such as the UK's Homes for Ukraine. Zelensky representative, military installations in Russia are legitimate targets. Peter Venislavsky, President Volodymyr Zelensky's representative in Parliament, said in a February 4 interview that all military installations in Russia from which it is waging its war are legitimate military targets for Ukraine. Russia attacks peaceful Ukrainian cities from its territory, just like from Belarus, Venislavsky, a member of Parliament's Security and Defense Committee, told Bild, a German newspaper. Are the places where Russia stores its missiles legitimate military targets? Of course, without question. He also said that any command center in the Russian capital is a legitimate military target. Venislavsky added that it is up to Ukraine's military leadership whether to strike such targets. Ukraine's allies have urged it not to use Western weapons against Russian territory, fearing an escalation. Defense Minister Oleksiy Reznikov on February 2 called on the West to provide long-range Adams missiles and said Ukraine would guarantee that they would not be used against Russian territory. The counter-argument used by critics is that Ukraine's inability to attack targets in Russia allows the Kremlin to launch strikes from Russian territory and kill Ukrainians en masse without Ukraine being able to destroy the weapons used to attack it. Venislavsky also told Bild that Ukraine needs from 500 to 700 tanks to liberate all the Russian-occupied territories in Ukraine. Ukraine's allies have promised to send 143 tanks, which is not sufficient for ending the war, he added. And, China balloon, U.S. shoots down airship over Atlantic. The U.S. has shot down a giant Chinese balloon that it says has been spying on key military sites across America. The Department of Defense confirmed its fighter jets brought down the balloon over U.S. territorial waters. China's foreign ministry later expressed strong dissatisfaction and protest against the U.S.'s use of force to attack civilian unmanned aircraft. Footage on U.S. TV networks showed the balloon falling to the sea after a small explosion.